everyone, I'm Swati Thakur and I'm back again with Daily Market Bites with Stock Dairy. Here we will cover the news that can have an impact on your portfolio as well as brief you on today's market behavior. So without any further ado, let's get started. During the pre-market session, which is before 9 a.m., S6 Nifty was trading at 18,646. But if we talk about Nifty, opening session, ke baad Nifty 18,528 per open hua and Bank Nifty 43,192 per open hua. After the positive opening, Nifty stuck in a range of 18,450 to 18,500 and closed at 18,512 after a minor gain of 28 points from its previous day close. And Bank Nifty closed at 42,983 with a loss of 91 points. It is now time to talk about the most awaited market highlights, that is, who were the top gainers and losers in Nifty 50. Let's start with the today's top gainers as you can see on screen. HDFC Life, Tata Motors, Hero Motor Corp, Coal India, Reliance. So, today's bulls ka participation in stocks mein sabse zyada dekhne ko mila. Ab baat karte hai market ke top losers ki. So, today's top losers hain ICICI Bank, Nestle India, Kotak Bank, Titan and Britannia. So, we can say that bears ka participation in stocks mein sabse zyada dekhne ko mila. Now let's talk about today's important news that may impact your portfolio. The fuel billionaire Gautam Adani's ambitious expansion plan, Adani Enterprises on Friday, approved a rupees 20,000 crore further public offering of equity shares of the company. Second important news is Indian billionaire Gautam Adani is planning to invest more than $4 billion in a petrochemical complex in the state of Gujarat and plans to launch a super app in the next three to six months to connect Adani Airport passengers with other Adani Group services, according to the report. Third important news is Capital Markets Regulator has amended norms to bring buying and selling of mutual funds units under the insider trading rules. SEBI has now issued detailed guidelines. The regulations state that any person who is connected with a fund house and comes into possession of unpublished price-sensitive information shall not be permitted to trade in MF units wherein either the net asset value of the scheme could get impacted or the interests of unit holders may be compromised. Now let's talk about what happened in the international markets. Apple's biggest supplier Foxconn could reduce iPhone output by at least 30% at its key factory in China as workers' unrest continues. A source familiar with the situation at Foxconn told Reuters that it is impossible for the electronics contract manufacturer to resume full production by the end of the month. As a result, Foxconn has been forced to make an upward revision of its internal forecast for production impact. So, this is market se jude kuch important updates. If you want to know how the market can be the behavior of Monday, then refer to our video Nifty and Bank Nifty Prediction, which the link in the description. Mein diya hai. And for interesting updates, ke liye, follow Stock Terry.